welcome back to the channel guys today i'm going to show you how to change out your battery on the e90 or e92 e93 m3 and this works for any 3 series bmw as well but today's battery we're going to be using is called duralast gold from autozone and it's an h6 size so the reason i'm going with this one in particular is because it's a lighter battery and it still has the correct width to be able to fit it into the car. The main thing is being able to shed some weight. The stock battery is 60 pounds and this one is significantly lighter at less than 40. I'll put it on the weighing scale for you guys to see. <clears throat> 39 pounds. So that's over 20 pounds lighter than the stock battery. I got 12.74 volts which is perfect so the current battery i have is starting to get low charge uh, i haven't started it for two or three days and the voltage already dropped down to 11.9 volts so definitely an older battery need to get that one changed out and also i'll show you guys how to code it properly because if you don't code the battery correctly it's not going to last very long so let's get started So we're at 11.96 volts and this is after leaving the car sitting for about two days so as you can see according to this the battery is basically empty so that needs to be changed out. First thing you want to do is take a picture of the layout of this red uh, piece here I believe it's the IBS voltage regulator or something but you want to know where those particular cords are what color they're in looks like they're color coded but you don't want to plug them into the wrong spots we're going to start with the 10 millimeter nut on the ground we're going to remove that then we're going to remove the 13 millimeter nut right over here and then the 10 millimeter nut right over there and then remove these little side holders for the module oops wrong piece we're going to remove these side pieces by just unclipping them with a screwdriver and then we can take this red piece out of the way. Okay, so these little Phillip heads right over here on the sides, we need to undo those so that you can get access to the battery. You can wiggle it around and take out this other side of the module. Get your back ready. Here, we, oh, actually, wait a second, I'm forgetting something. There's a uh, vent tube here. Pull out that vent tube, which allows the battery to vent the fumes out. Now I think I'm ready to pull up. Okay, you want to put this bracket back on on the side this is what holds the battery down find out where it goes okay once you have these two uh, phillip heads screwed down this battery is not moving anymore it's nice and tight you got your vent tube on now we can put back our module starting with the positive side so right here goes to this corner over here now put your module into this one over the top piece right over here 
Then you're gonna push down on each edge here until it clips into place. Looks like the torque, according to this, is 15 Newton meters. Okay, let's put our negative back on. By the time you do this one, you'll see the power come back on. Tighten down your ground 10 millimeter nut. And we are back in business. So now that everything is all hooked up, you need to put back your trim, which is basically just the little Lego pieces on the E93. And then we're gonna go inside the car and code the battery using Beamer Geeks Pro Tools. Okay, so we're in the car now. Let's turn on the ignition. I'm gonna go ahead and connect. I already have it connected to the OBD2 port over there. Connect to vehicle. And then press battery swap. And then I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna choose the amp hour. I have 70 AH standard. The following routine will be performed. Do you wish to proceed? Confirm. Coding written, operation successful. Okay, let's see now what our battery history looks like. So the current mileage that I have on my battery history is 111,975 and the last battery change was just now so that's confirmed and ready to go all right so it's easy as that the battery is coated I have a lighter battery in so better performance saved about 25 pounds almost which is pretty dang good for about $200 I'll uh, update you guys if the lower amp hour uh, 70 down from uh, 90 amp hours affects the car at all. But so far I drive normally, everything is smooth, alternators working, charging at 14.5 volts, 14.4 to 14.5 volts. So alternators working, batteries working well. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.